give the output signal for the circuit if the input signal are as indicated. Hold on, huh? let me change my color, the color of pen. Now you're given this circuit, and then the input to this circuit is P is 1, and then Q is 0. Find the, uh, the output of uh, R. Actually, there's a name for this. So find, find R. Okay. Again, input for P is 1, input for Q is 0. 1 comes in here as 1, and then we don't have to look at this one. The all will get you 1 because when, the, when, you, when you see it, one of the input is 1, it's automatically 1. Now, for the N with a 1, you still have to look for this one. The result of N will depend on this one because if one of the N is 1, you still have to look at this one. If this is false, the N will be false. If it is true, the N will be true. Okay? So 0, Q is 0. It comes in and not it. 0. Now out here is 1. 1 and 1 is 1. Notice that just now we mentioned that when you have an N with a 1, and then here is X, the result of the N depends on here. Here, 1 already, right? And then here is 1, the result of N is 1. Say, let's say if, if this one is 0, 1 and 0 is 0. So again, you see that uh, the output here depends on this when one of the N is already 1. So there's a, even a formula for that. So uh, X N1 uh, and true is equal to X. X is 0, this is 0, X is 1, here is 1, okay? Done. Thank you for watching. Hope video is informative, helpful. Before you go, make sure you subscribe, share, comment, and don't forget to hit or smash the like button. Jumpa lagi.